Have you ever wondered how much it actually costs to make the car you drive? It's not as much as you think, but it might be more than you expect. Some cars cost as little as $12,500 to produce, while others can reach $133,000 before they even hit the dealership lot. This. Why is there such a huge difference? Today, we're breaking it all down, from the materials and the labor to research and marketing. By the end, you'll know exactly why those price tags are what they are. Stay with me and you'll learn how much it costs popular car manufacturers like Toyota, Ford, Tesla, and even Ferrari to build their cars, and why luxury cars cost so much more to make. I'm Chris, and welcome to my channel. I've traveled all the way to Japan and saw Toyota cars going through the manufacturer process on the TPS, which is the Toyota production system. So whether you're a car enthusiast or just curious, this episode will give you an insight you may not find easily. Here's what we're going to cover today. The two main types of manufacturing, fixed and variable. A breakdown of what's included in these costs and real world examples from major automakers. Let me start with a story about Toyota. In the early 2000s, they introduced the Prius. It was a groundbreaking hybrid, but the initial costs were astronomical. Toyota spent billions on research and development before producing a single unit. For every Prius sold, they barely broke even. Fast forward to today, and their hybrid technology is a cornerstone of their lineup, proving that those upfront costs can pay off in the long run. Fixed costs are like the foundation of a house. They don't change no matter how many cars you actually build. Automakers spend billions on research and development. This include designing engines, safety features, and testing prototypes. For example, Tesla's Model 3 required massive research and development investments to create an affordable EV with cutting edge tech. Then we have cost of operations, and this covers salaries for staff not directly involved in production, factory, rent, machine ma maintenance, and utilities. These costs don't fluctuate with the production volume. Then we go down into marketing and supply chain management, establishing relationships with suppliers and promoting vehicles through advertising campaigns are essential but fixed expenses. Think Super Bowl ads for new models. Those aren't cheap. Property taxes, facility insurance, and office supplies fall under miscellaneous expenses. And while these are minor compared to other costs, they actually add up. Now, let's get into variable cost. Variable cost depends on how many cars are made. And these include materials. Up to 57% of a car's cost comes from materials like steel, aluminum, rubber, plastic, and electronic components. For instance, the microchip shortage drove up the cost for automakers worldwide. Assembly line workers and quality control team play a crucial role in manufacturing. While robots handle much of the process, human labor is still necessary, especially for luxury brands like Ferrari. Energy usage increases with production volume. Factories running 24-7 consume enormous amount of electricity. Moving raw materials to factories and delivering finished cars to dealerships adds to the cost. For example, shipping EV batteries can be especially expensive due to their size and weight. We can now take examples from major auto manufacturers. Let's put these costs into perspective. Manufacturing costs for a Toyota average $12,500 per car. A base model priced at $15,000 leaves Toyota with a $2,500 profit. High production volume helps keep costs down. For Ford, the F-150, one of Ford's best sellers, cost about $27,000 to produce. Sold at $40,000, Ford makes $13,000 per truck. The Mustang priced at $27,000 cost almost $25,000 to build. The Model 3 from Tesla cost $28,000 to produce. Priced at $40,630, Tesla earns around $12,600 per car. High-tech components and limited economies of scale drive up their cost. With production costs ranging from $33,000 to $133,000, Porsche's luxury cars reflect their exclusivity. On average, they profit $17,250 per car sold, and manufacturing a Ferrari costs around $130,000 to $140,000, with MSRPs often exceeding $200,000. Ferrari profits roughly $80,000 per vehicle. Luxury brands like Porsche, Ferrari, and Mercedes-Benz invest heavily in premium materials, cutting-edge technology, and craftsmanship. Low production volume adds to cost, making each car more expensive to build. 
So the next time you see a price tag on a car, remember, it's not just about materials or labor. It's about the innovation, logistics, and branding that bring it to life. Which car brand surprised you the most today? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into the automotive world. Remember to grab a copy of my ebook, The Parts Manager Guide. Until next time.